Hi, I'm Pierce Jens with Barazza Support. Today we're going to change the load cell on an Asado. This Asado in particular is displaying an OUT error code. This means that the value of the load cell is out of range, which is caused by a damaged load cell. If you calibrate your Asado and the calibration value is in the 900 range, then that also indicates a bad load cell. Unplug your Asado. Remove the rear cover. If your Asado has just been removed from a grinder, the rear cover will already be removed. I'm going to use my rear cover as a bolt tray to make sure that I do not lose any of these small screws. Flip your Asado onto its side. You will see four holes, two near the feet, to a bit further back. Remove all four of these Phillips screws. Each of these four Phillips screws will have a small star lock washer. Take care not to lose any of the four star washers. Once the four screws have been removed, grab the front assembly by the die cast, pull up, and then pull out. There will be a wire connecting the power board to the front panel board. Grab the connector gently, wiggle it back and forth while pulling on it to remove. Now the front assembly has been separated from the chassis. I'll go ahead and set the chassis to the side. And we'll turn our attention to changing the load cell within the front assembly. Remove the two black Phillips screws Flip the assembly over and remove the two silver Phillips screws. At this point, the plastic housing will split in two. And we can see the load cell that is compromised and needs to be replaced. Remove the two gold load cell securing Phillips screws. Unplug the load cell from the circuit board. Once again, work the connector side to side while pulling gently on it. At this point, I can pull the wire through the housing. And discard the old compromised load cell. Okay, your new load cell. And first feed the Molex connector through the housing. Plug your new load cell into the circuit board. You'll notice that the end of the load cell that does not have wires coming out of it has a half moon cut out of it on one side, no cutout on the other side. 
we need the half moon cut out facing up in respect to proper orientation of the unit. Get the two gold load cell screws from your screw jar to install the new load cell. Note that I am starting to thread both screws before fully tightening either. At this point, we need to take extreme care to be gentle with the load cell. The load cell is a delicate part and can have only a maximum weight of 300 grams applied to it. It is easily damaged. You will note that I am installing this load cell with power tools. However, I have turned the torque of my power tool to the lowest setting possible. Once the two gold screws are snug, we can get the plastic housing and fit it back into position. We're going to install the weight platform onto the load cell. There are two black screws that secure the weight platform. Push them down so that the threads do not emerge. It's easier to get the screws started. This is a step that we need to be very careful not to apply too much pressure downwards while completing. Rather than pushing down with your screwdriver to help the screw start, simply rotate it and let the threads catch and pull the screw down. You'll know I'm applying no downward pressure. Screws do not need to be very tight, they simply need to be threaded all the way down. Now that we have the front assembly complete, we will reinstall it onto the chassis. Plug your Molex connector for the power board back in. Slide the casting onto the assembly. Locate the four machine screws with star lock washers. Set the unit onto its side. This is another step we need to take great care not to damage the load cell while completing. We do not want to place the unit upside down as that would have the weight of the unit and your screwdriver pressing directly against the load cell. Insert the screws one at a time. I recommend getting each of the four screws started and then going around a second time for a torque pass. Now that we have the new load cell installed, we need to recalibrate the unit. Plug back in your solder. Press and hold the start stop button to reboot the unit. 
While it's rebooting, press and hold 1 and 2 to send it into calibration mode. The unit will show you a value. This value should be between 3 and 400. Press 1. It'll flash cal, then continue to flash 200 at you. At this point, it's ready for a 200 gram weight on the scale. Once the 200 gram weight has been put on the scale, it will flash PAS, pass, and then show the weight on the scale. At this point, our load cell replacement is complete and you are ready to reinstall your grinder onto your Asado.